Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see you again today. So once again, I am on another new server. <laughs> I must be crazy. Anyway, this is my ranch on this server. I'm slowly building it up. It's got a lot more to go. And the interesting part of this ranch is how high off the ground it is. I'll show you that in a minute. Today though, we are going to be messing with Archie, what are you doing? Oh, by the way, this is new and improved Archie. <laughs> He's a border collie here. This mod is really cool. I'm gonna go over all the new stuff I have in just a second. I am getting so sidetracked. Okay, so today we're gonna discuss the new mods, some of the new functions on swim. We're also gonna be breeding genetic ponies. So if you're familiar with my server, you know that we call the vanilla horses ponies. And unfortunately, genetic animals mod does not have a 120 version yet. Makes me really sad. So for now, we do have the realistic horse genetics mod. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I've went and wrangled up a bunch of wild horses and we're gonna check them out and see what foals we can get. Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would love to have you. All right, let's look around. So this is what I mean by my ranch is really high off the ground. This is not something I built either. This is just naturally generated. I loved the location, it's perfect because the only way to get up here is to fly. You mean fly, you have to be creative? No. Thankfully, our beautiful horses now have the ability of flight. Yes, flight. All right, so here is my barn. Venture, of course, is here. Hello, Miss Venture. So this is one of the really cool mods that I have added to this server. These, this mod, is called Trey's Tack Shop, and it adds all kinds of really cool um, halters and blankets from the Western to the English to the pasture blanket. But this was my favorite part, fly masks. Isn't that so cool? Look at the fly mask on Venture. Come here, let's show them. You can see her cute little eyes through it. Oh, I love it so much. And they're gonna continue adding things to match this. So they're gonna add the leg wraps and other stuff like that and tons of ribbons, all kinds of really cool things that work with the swim mod. So I will link that mod down in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. So super cute. Okay, so that's that mod. Let's see, oh, this one. So if Archie would come here. Come here, Archie. <laughs> I locked him in there. Here, it's okay, he can just jump out. All right. So this mod is like the Doggy Talents mod, but it's combined with another one. It's a Better Dogs X Doggy Talents Next. It adds on to the Doggy Talents mod with actual breeds and all kinds of different things, like these outfits and other cool things. So just to give you a quick rundown of the different breeds available in this mod. Come here, Archie. So here he is. But if I go down to style and then skins, there is a lot of breeds, 207 breeds to choose from, or variations, I guess. So there's Bulldogs and Shih Tzus and uh, Jack Russell Terrier, Wiener Dogs, <laughs> Great Danes. And look how cute this Shih Tzu is. Oh my gosh, it's got the little ribbon on its head. Oh, it's so cute. Even Archie could technically be an otter. <laughs> I don't know why there's a stick going through it, but okay. Really, really cool mod. Again, I will put it in the description with my other mods. All right, let us just check this out. I'm really late on doing this, so I will go ahead and do it. Mere venture. I don't even have a place to tie the horses in the barn in here yet. Oh goodness. Hey, Miss Venture, take off your blanket and your fly mask and put all this stuff on you. All right, and we're wearing adventure tack because we need to put on this armor. I love the purple, it's so pretty. These wings are no longer just for looks. <laughs> okay, Archie, I don't recommend trying to follow me. Here we go. Whee! Tell me this is an absolutely amazing, you guys. Let's go. 
Whoosh. <laughs> It's so much fun. Totally different being able to travel on horseback in the sky. <laughs> I'm like a bird. We're perched. Oh, I do want to show you a cool biome not too far from me. It's right here. Look at this beautiful cherry blossom biome. Isn't it so pretty? And I have another ramp built right here specifically for this. Back to my house we go. Come in for a landing. Ah, not too bad. So that is a little snippet of the flight mechanics in the 120 swim mod. Very, very fun. I am disappointed it's not coming to 118, but it is what it is. At least we have it at all. Okay, I need to really stop messing around <laughs> and get to the breeding portion of this. So, Miss Venture, I don't have a paddock built yet. Oh, look, that horse is impatient. <laughs> Poor guys. I don't have a paddock built for her yet. So I guess I'll just place her right here for now. All right, let's get to sorting these guys. So there's a lot of them. Like I said, I've just been kind of collecting them all around. And if I try and go in here, you're gonna escape. I already know. Don't leave, don't leave. <laughs> I built this nice pin area for them to kind of keep them separated. So, oh, where do we start? So first of all, if you're not familiar with this mod, the horses are different in that they actually have sizes and uh, color changes kind of like graying out or roaning out. And they have different, of course, speed and stuff like that. But we can't check their genders until they're actually tame. So I guess I will have to tame each and every one of these horses just to get their uh, stats, which is great. <laughs> Come on, horse. This looks like a big horse, though. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. Why are you being so difficult? I mean, I know you have been... <laughs> it's like glitching. I know you have been locked up in this barn for... I don't know, a while, but he's just not, not having it. Looks like some sort of done with that stripe down its back. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> there we go, finally tame. Okay, so this is a mare and she's 16 hands. So that's pretty tall. So I guess we'll put her over here. Come here, mare. Let's get some signs out and start actually trying to keep track. Well, right here we will put a pink sign means mare. So 16 hands. This looks like a bigger horse too. Are you really going to be just as feisty as that mare? Don't do this to me. <laughs> this horse is feisty once again. Completely unhappy. So this is another mare. 15.1 hands. So a little bit smaller than the other one. This might take a while. <laughs> I'm probably gonna skip through. Oh, look at this little one though. This one looks kind of small. I'm probably gonna skip through some of this taming because it can't be very entertaining to watch for you guys. Oh, you know what else we have to do too? We have to test their jump skill. So well, that'll be another trait. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Swim horses are easier to tame than these guys. They really are ponies. Finally. So this, oh, she's a little mare. She's only 12.2 hands. She's really small. Archie, get out of there. What? Why? So 12.2. She is little. And we've had no stallions yet at all. Oh, look at this one. This one's really small. Where are you anchored? Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I need to see how small this one is. It's really short. It's easier to do this in third person so I can see the hearts. Even though my head and my neck like cracks. <laughs> okay, we got it tamed. So let's see. Oh, nope. 12.3. Really? It's taller than the other mare. Huh. Another mare. Starting to doubt if stallions even exist, to be honest. I like this one's color. It's like a 
I don't even know. It's kind of creamed out or something. I don't know the term. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep taming. Who looks like our tallest? This one's pretty tall. Hey, our first stallion. And he's only 15.2 hands. So he's not really that tall. We're going to start the stallions on this side of the barn, even though I'm sure we're going to end up meeting in the middle. So this mod kind of reminds me of the genetic cats because I guess if you right click it with a book, it needs to be tamed. Maybe not. This tells me everything I need to know about this horse. It's speed, confirmation, how well they jump, and then the genes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is, uh, okay, this is really confusing. So, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> it looks like it has a recessive champagne gene. I'm, I think, recessive gray, maybe. Oh, gosh. I don't know what any of that means. I think this is going to be really complex. Hoof health? Can you actually do something with their hooves? <laughs> So I wonder if it's good to have a diverse immune system. I would assume so. I wonder if there's somewhere I could research this stuff. I guess we can tame this horse. Looks to be kind of tall. I'm gonna guess around 15 hands. And it looks like it might have roan to its coat or it's graying out. So this is, oh, 14, wait, was it mare? 14 hand stallion, abysmal, bascule, <laughs> Am I not smart enough for this mod? Oh my gosh. I mean, he seems good. If abysmal is a good thing, then I think he's good. Excuse me, horse. What are you doing? I really like this horse right here. I think it's cool looking. Big mare, 16-1. Wow. I want to know. I think this horse might be champagne. And if that's true, it should have a capital CH. And this one definitely grayed out. Well, that'll be a good way for us to tell how to navigate these genes a little bit. Oh, she's taller than that one. So she's our tallest so far. Okay, let's tame this, what I think is champagne. Got her tame. So let's try out this book. See if the champagne is indeed. Yes. So she has the capital CH, which is why she is, well, I don't even know if it's a mare. I'm just kind of presuming. <laughs> yes, she is a mare. Okay, so at least we get that gene now. So that one under the graying is probably going to have the same type of situation going on. And now Archie's yelling at me to feed him. <laughs> That's one thing about this version of Doggy Talons. The dogs will let you know when they're hungry. Oh yeah, I really like this guy too. I like his facial marking. It's pretty or girl, guy, girl, I don't know. We'll find out. It is a mare, 14-3. I like you, paint horse, you're cute. Pretty sure that's the only paint I have. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. So yes, we will have enough stalls. We'll just have absolutely no room to actually breed anymore. Great. Oh my goodness, Archie, I am busy. Why are you telling me you're hungry? I guess I could set down a bowl for him so he could eat. Probably be a nice thing to do. This is a stallion exactly 15 hands again. And as far as the graying, yep, capital G. So it's got the graying gene. Oh my goodness, Archie. Let me just finish what I'm doing and then I will feed you. I wonder what color he was originally. I don't remember when I first caught him. He wasn't that color though. He definitely changed. Okay, Archie. Um, Bowel <laughs> definitely did not mean to type that. Okay, Archie, come over here. We'll just do that. All right, feed yourself. This to me looks like a roan. Let's see for roan. Oh, it's a goat, a gouty? How you say that? Does that mean roan? <laughs> so our mare side is full. We're gonna have to start putting them back here. 
if we don't have more stallions. 13.3 hand stallion. Good thing it's a stallion. Finally almost done sorting. Just a few left. This is the only splash horse I have. Another stallion. Perfect. 15-2. Wouldn't it be really amazing if you used the potion to turn these horses into swim horses and then the genetics actually stayed with the swim horses and you would have genetic swim horses. I would love that. All I've ever wanted. This is our last horse that we need to tame. I think I've spent 40 minutes <laughs> at least, maybe closer to an hour just taming these horses. It's taking so long. Last one is a stallion, 16.1. All right, I spent some time trying to get more organized and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, how do I even get started? What am I trying to accomplish? But I've named each horse, I have each stall numbered, and then when I breed them, I'm just gonna put a sign and let me know which horses I bred. I've also kind of read up on the mods page on Forge about these genes, and they do have some explanation so I think I have a slight understanding. It is really complex, which is nice in a lot of ways because you get some realism, but it's also difficult to learn. So inbreeding is a thing. They have lethal white syndrome. The horses can even get issues with their eyes and in game that just means their health is lower than other horses, which is really cool. I want to breed a tiny horse. This is, no, is that my smallest mare? 12, two, yes. So she is my smallest, so I think I should breed her. I did read on there that, you know, they say just because you want a smaller horse, breeding two small ones. Who's that? It escaped. I'm gonna have to add that one to my, uh, my little operation here. Anyway, um, if you breed two horses that are small, it's not necessarily true that they will come out small. That being said, let's find a stallion on the smaller side. 13.3, that's pretty small. 13.3 again. I think we're gonna go with this lighter color. Let's breed this boy with our small girl. I'm assuming they breed with apples. Yes, they do. Okay, so she is now pregnant. Let's also, at the same time, try to breed a very big horse. 16-1, this is probably one of my favorite mares that I have. And she happens to be one of the bigger ones. So that's good. I don't know <laughs> why my breeding pins are outside and then my normal stuff, it, just, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Okay, guys, which one of you is the tallest stallion I have? I don't really have a big, oh, here's 16-1. He's probably gonna be the tallest. Oh, I really like this pattern though. I think I'm gonna breed him with her. That might be a cool combination. Okay, pregnant. Let's see what other mare we, actually, let's check out this random horse over here. It looks tall too, actually. Yeah, it's a pretty big horse. Oh, 15-3. Stallion. I really like his coloration. That's a nice gray, blue gray. Oh, we have one open right here. Lucky number 13. I want to breed this uh, stallion because of his neat color. So maybe we should breed him. Oh, let's breed him with this mare. They kind of have the same look going on. We have three more open stalls for breeding. Let's pick a partner for the cream mare. Oh, what about this graying stallion? Then we can see if the foal gets the graying gene. That'd be fun. I have no clue how long these horses are pregnant. Guess we shall see. Excuse me, sheep. Sorry. <laughs> Two more stalls for babies. Or venture. She's just sitting there like, what are you doing? Okay, I want to breed this cute chestnut. I like her face marking. So who do we pair her with? 
This guy might be a good pair. He kind of has the flax and mane and tail going on. We could pick the new guy. Number 13. One more stall for one more full. I'll bring this big mare out and see if the bigger stallion can breed again. And if he can, I will breed her with him. I believe, yeah, this, wait. Did I not breed the big stallion yet? Because I decided to breed him instead. 16, this guy. Okay, so we'll breed him with her. And they're basically the same color. So not a whole lot surprised there. It's actually good we're starting with so many horses to keep our genes very varied. <laughs> very varied. Great. Everyone is bred. And now we just have to wait and see what our foals are going to look like. I hope for a little one out of these guys. They're super cute. And I guess while we're waiting for the pregnancies to progress, I need to build an area out here to test their jumping skills and their speed. The speed's going to be a little bit tricky, but we can at least test their jump for sure. She's already halfway there. So they're not pregnant very long at all, which is good news for me. <laughs> Less waiting for me to have to do. So the system I usually use when I check vanilla Minecraft horses and their jumping skill is a pretty simple one. It just consists of building blocks, whichever blocks. So right here we will have, this is the two block jump right next to it the three block jump and finally the five block jump i don't think that the horses can jump any higher than five blocks i could be wrong about that but if i get a horse that can actually jump that tall then i will build a bigger jump to test okay so when our foals are born and actually i could test the parents i guess to see how high they can jump these things so I kind of fixed this up to be a weird pink mess. <laughs> and this racetrack isn't going to work very well. I guess the only way I can think to do it is to run the horses past this and then just set a timer or a stopwatch, I mean, on my phone and run all the way to this end and stop it. And that's just going to have to be good enough. So let's go check and see if we have any babies born yet. It hasn't been that long. Oh, we do. We have some foals. Oh, look how little. How cute. Hey, baby. It's so cute. Kind of looks like a Palomino almost. So this is our foal that we're trying to make be very small. Can I check the stats? I cannot. What about a book? The book worked. So average and good. Uh, average, diverse, average, average, average. Okay. We've got ND2. Let me look at my sheet. ND2. What does that mean? So it is not done. It is a cream. And I think that's about it. Oh, it's a bay or brown. I don't know how to say this word. I should just look it up. Agouti? 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 Agouti. <laughs> So maybe more like dad, I'm not sure. Okay, we got another foal over here. Oh, wow. It's like, what is this color? We've got average and good on that stuff. We've got an extension, which is black. You got to again. No done. No champagne. W20 and W20 on both of those. So W20 means it has increased white markings and then leopard complex. I'm guessing all of this grayness that's on this foal is probably going to turn white. We've got another foal that looks just like its mom. This is the mom, right? Whoops. No, that's the dad. So it looks like dad. Oh, it's a cute little pinto. This horse has night blindness caused by the leopard complex gene. Oops. That's bad. <laughs> so this was a poor pairing on my part. Oh yeah, leopard and leopard. But we don't want double leopard complex. Oh, I'm sorry, little foal. Really, really cute though. 
over here. Another foal. I wonder if it has the grain gene like its dad. So we've got the extension of black. It does have the gray gene, so it's going to gray as it gets older. That's going to be neat to watch. And that's basically it. No done or anything. So this foal is going to grow up and be completely gray white like dad. So that's pretty cool. We'll keep an eye on this one to see him change. Oh, she is about to pop anytime. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's got the same white marking I like so much. And it seems like it's a lighter color. So for this, it's a bay or brown. Oh, I've been wrong. Little A is for black. The big A is for bay or brown. Okay. That gives it the kind of done look, I think. Not done, I'm sorry, roan. ND2 and then done. So it has, it is done. Oh, it's a pearl cream color. And then SW1, what does that mean? Okay, so that means it says any variant of dominant white that makes all or most of the horse white dominantly. I'm excited to see this foal grow. It's got some cool things going on. All of our foals are really good for our first time. So cute. Now these babies just have to grow up. I wonder how little this one's going to be because you can tell... Even right now, really, Archie, again, <laughs> you can tell right now that this foal is significantly smaller than this foal. While we wait for the babies to grow a bit, let's test some of our horses. Oh, you know what? I need a saddle. That would be really useful, wouldn't it? Oh, this horse is slow. Oh my goodness. Let's test jump two. Can you jump two? Yes, you can. Okay, can you jump three? Yes, you can. Can you jump four? No. Okay, so this horse is a jump three. Let's test this tiny mare. What is her jump? She's faster, I think. A little bit faster than the stallion. Maybe. I don't know, actually. She's still kind of slow. But she is small. Oh, she's cute. Can we do a two jump? Yes. Can we do three? Oh. <gasps> no. Even with a perfect jump, she cannot jump three. So before I put these guys back, I'm going to name the baby. This is 18 plus three. 18 plus three. Hope so we get a really good combo. Whoa. All of a sudden, <laughs> it's grown up. It looks pretty small, maybe same size. You are a 13 hand stallion. He's slightly smaller than my smallest stallion, so that's a good start. And he's kind of a pretty cal pa Calamino. <laughs> he's a pretty Palomino too. So he's nice, I like him, I'll be keeping him. And looks like this baby just grew up too. And it's already smaller than mom, I can tell. Okay, it's been a little while now, so let's check on our new babies. These two look very, very similar. The main color is different, and I think I actually prefer 15 to the full. Okay, next baby over here. Oh, so, okay, this is our bay full. And this is the one that will be graying out. I think we checked the genetics. Here is our next full all grown. And it's actually a really pretty color. So it got the nice face marking that I really like from the mom and then it's a done and it's nice. We gotta go ahead and tame it and see if it's a male or female. And I went ahead and built some makeshift uh, pens right there so that we can put these babies out there. And then I think my next step is probably gonna go inside and um, sort out some of these horses. So this is a male, 14-2, so kind of on the shorter side. All right, last foal. Well, this is interesting. So we had two duns and it bred out the dun gene, which I'm not surprised because that's what happens when you have two um, dominant genes like that. Let's look at this. This foal I'm probably not going to keep unless it's really tall or something. 
Oh, it's a 16. Oh, she's actually tall. It's a 16 hand mare. So maybe she is worth keeping. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. It went on longer than I expected, which seems to happen to me a lot. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. I do have more footage of the horse breeding, so I'll be editing that and posting the second half soon. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.